You ever felt something in your gut? Like, you know, like you know, like you know, like you know, like you feel it in your bones, like there's no undeniable truth in what's inside? Science is finally catching up to what every woman, mother, and grandmother knows, the gut feeling. Well, that gut feeling has everything to do with why your food can affect your mood. Let's get into it. When you were in your mother's womb, you were growing from a cell. So at one point, everything that you are existed in that cell, which makes all of you connected. Now you may have heard about your central nervous system or your CNS. Your brain is a part of it. It acts as like the control center, directing all the comings and the goings of information, processes, and impulses. Now you may have heard less about your enteric nervous system or your ENS. Your ENS is basically two thin layers of more than 100 million nerve cells lining your gastrointestinal tract from your esophagus to your rectum. When you were growing in your mother's womb, your CNS and your ENS developed from the same tissue. And today they still remain connected via your vagus nerve. Now, what does all this have to do with your mood and food? Well, considering the brain and the gut are connected quite a bit. You see, there are neurons in both your brain and your digestive system. They communicate with each other. They send messages all the time through your vagus nerves, such as the gut feelings we were talking about, your hunger, and your full signals. So what happens when you eat food like sugary candies and baked goods and greasy chips and meat fried in subpar oil and processed snacks with additives? Well, eventually that food breaks down into fuel and that fuel eventually feeds your brain. So I want you to take a moment and think about how efficient your brain operates on greasy, sugary, refined, processed, fried foods versus how it operates on whole, unprocessed, organic, wild foods. A dinner of fried chicken, mac and cheese, mashed potatoes with gravy, and a Coke will leave you feeling and functioning differently than a dinner of wild-caught salmon, sautéed spinach, roasted sweet potato, and spring water. What we eat fuels us and ultimately affects how we feel. Our feelings are often dictated by our fuel. And if you liken your brain to a tree, you'll find that a tree's roots in the ground and it draws up water and other vital nutrients from the soil. And that nutrition is brought up through the body of the tree. It strengthens the trunk of the tree and gives it what it needs to sprout new leaves, which in turn gather light, which is another energy source. In a similar way, the food we eat provides nutrients, or not, and that's absorbed through our intestines, if you consider these our roots. And the neurons in our intestines communicate with the neurons in our brains. And then our body breaks down those nutrients, or not, and disperses them throughout the body, eventually fueling our brains. So while our brains take up very little space in our body, they use 20% of the energy we take in. So nutrients make a huge difference in the way our brains function and make us feel. So at your next meal, I encourage you to choose food that enhances your mood. You already know what it is, because when you eat it, you feel so good. And you know what it isn't, because when you eat it, you feel it. <laughs> Wait, before you go, did you identify with this? Do you find yourself sometimes feeling crazy, moody, wondering why you don't feel as well as you normally do? It's possible that it's because of what you're eating. But listen, I don't want you to get all bent out of shape thinking that you have to give up your favorite foods. Hello, y'all who love the fried foods and the sugary things. I got you. You don't have to give them up, but you do got to elevate your ingredients, okay? Because 
elevated ingredients is what's going to shift the mood and make sure that you get to keep your food. I want you to come over to the Mindful Nutrition School. Yes, that's right. The Mindful Nutrition School over there. I teach you how to detox your diet, detoxing your mindset, detoxing your habits and detoxing what's on your plate so you can make sure that you feel elevated and like your best self. Go to mindfulnutritionschool.com or click link in the description and I will see you over there. All right, friends, until next time, eat well, feel well, and be well. Ciao.